Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luke and today we are going to do a Buffy the Vampire Slayer season one episode ranking video. I don't know why I struggle to say that. So season one isn't going to take us too long really because there's only 12 episodes. I'm just going to put them in a little tier list that I found on tiermaker.com. S being the best, F being the worst. Please don't take it personally please don't take it too seriously it is just my opinion that's my opinion let's go um welcome to hellmouth episode one the very beginning of buffy the vampire slayer a really solid introduction to the series it was a really strong introduction to the show it was a good introduction to the characters as well i immediately liked buffy i immediately liked giles i immediately liked willow set the tone and it started the story off really really nicely so i'm actually a really big fan of episode one and I often am a fan of episode ones I quite like beginnings I actually think it was really strong and I'm actually going to put it in A tier and I really didn't expect it to end on a cliffhanger so I just really enjoyed the ride it zoomed by the cliffhanger really took me by surprise I thought we were nowhere near the end of the episode um so yeah I had a good time with it very much enjoyed episode two the harvest still really strong still really good I don't think it was quite as impactful as episode one, but there's really like not a lot in it. It's not the biggest difference, but it is enough just for me to put it on B, but they're basically the same story, the same episodes, the same connections. Next we have Witch, which was episode three. I really enjoyed this episode. The mum really being the witch and just taking the form of her student daughter to sort of relive glory days and things like that really fun really cool sort of story i love sort of fictional witches anyway i had so much fun with it so i think i'm going to put that on the b tier as well i actually don't know if any episodes are going to be on f teacher's pet may be an episode that most people would put in f i think but i really like the sort of sillier episodes of shows i love a tv show that doesn't take itself too seriously i think shows like buffy and doctor who and Merlin, you know, a lot of the shows that I have on my channel, I think they they are self-aware with how silly their silly episodes are. And I think that makes me appreciate them. I think writing a supply teacher who wants boys to look at her eggs, sacks, <laughs> they're well aware that that sounds stupid. So I appreciate it. They knew what they were going for. I'm going to put it in the C category. Next is never kill a boy on the first date. I liked some of it. I think I really enjoy the sort of the introduction to the anointed one and that sort of twist that was in that episode as well. I really enjoyed that kind of storyline. I didn't like Owen. Is that what he was called? The boy that Buffy had a crush on. And he didn't do anything wrong. He wasn't an evil character. He wasn't even a bad character. I just felt like he came out of nowhere and I think I preferred Buffy's sort of crush on Angel because he had been in it before and there was a little bit of a build up and I had a crush on Angel too so I related. <laughs> but Owen just sort of came out of nowhere and she was just like yeah I'm gonna date this boy and like I know she's a 16 year old girl I know that he was a handsome boy and I know that most people at the school wanted to date Owen but I just didn't I don't f I didn't feel that storyline. So I'm actually going to put this one in the C category as well, even though it built up towards that overarching story of the master and the finale and that kind of thing. It's quite an important episode to the whole story, but I just didn't I didn't click with it. The pack was one of the most random episodes I've ever seen, but I really enjoyed it. The hyenas that had been had been bought in and that the zoo had closed off their area and that the school bullies who were in a pack themselves had snuck in and sort of got overtaken by the supernatural hyena thing. Very much enjoyed that. It was a good episode for Xander, who I have a up and down relationship with. I think I quite enjoyed his storyline and teacher's pet as well. I like when the focus isn't always on Buffy. So Xander had a really strong episode in the pack because he was kind of the villain <laughs> for some of it, which was really interesting. Xander's probably quite a fun role to act anyway, but to be able to be the sort of villain for a bit must have been really fun. They killed off Principal Flutie in that episode, which was really sort of impactful moment. It's that moment where you realise that the show 
isn't going to mess around all the time and that maybe characters that you presume are sort of safe aren't going to be. So that was strong. I really enjoyed the pack. I'm going to put the pack in B category. Then we have Angel. I very much enjoyed Angel and I think you all knew I was going to. It was nice to focus on him. It was nice to get some questions answered because he was so sort of mysterious between episode one and six, wherever he appeared in those. So it was nice to focus on him. It was nice to focus on his relationship with Buffy. It was nice to tap into the master and Dala. I, I found all of that really interesting in this episode as well. Buffy's mum had a bit of involvement in the middle. Yeah, there were some really dramatic moments where like Buffy's mum invited Dala into the house and it was very like stressful. And sort of the master sort of even saying that Angel was one of the best vampires. To learn that he had such a heavy past was really good. I think I'm gonna put Angel in S tier, which probably doesn't shock anybody. Next is I, Robot, You, Jane. Stupid, but so dark all at the same time. It found such a weird balance between the two. Perfect balance, really. This demon from the 1800s or whenever it was has suddenly found its way into like computers and the internet and was building itself like a daddy Darth Vader body. And then on the other side, they were making out that like one student had committed suicide and things like that. And it was all very like, oh my God, they balanced the campness and the drama and the heaviness really well, which Buffy does very well, I've realised. Again, I really enjoyed that the focus was more on Willow as opposed to just focusing on Buffy every week. I, I like that it, it does that. And Willow is the innocent one of the group. So for her to fall victim to like the internet dating storyline, it, it worked. I'm actually going to put in the B category as well. The puppet show again balanced the nuts with the serious really well because the whole puppet stuff was just crazy and then we found out that the guy had a brain tumour and stuff like that. It's just they balance those two things so well in this show. Unpopular opinion I think but I didn't really like the puppet and I didn't like his storyline. I liked the twist of it but I think for me, personally, it was just on the lower end of the series. So I am going to put it in the C category. Nightmares was a really interesting episode. Yeah, I was just fascinated by the whole, like, the boy in the coma storyline. Appreciated Buffy's nightmare, which felt the most real of them all, really. That, like, her dad sort of didn't love her anymore. And her dad blamed the divorce on Buffy and things like that. That was really, like, real hard-hitting stuff and I love that the show doesn't ever shy away from that kind of thing but then I loved the alternatives of like Willow being on stage about to sing a song and she's like unable to do it Xander being chased by a killer clown because that's also nightmare material I really enjoyed the storyline I thought it was a really interesting one so I'm going to put that in the B category out of mind out of sight I really enjoyed that episode. She was the villain because she was neglected. She was the villain because she was ignored. She was the villain because she was never appreciated the same way that maybe other people were. She took it too far, but like, I sort of like didn't blame her to start with. And the fact that she had become invisible because that's how she felt every day. Really good stuff, really deep, juicy, good stuff. I love that kind of shit. And I really enjoyed Cordelia being more of a central character. I really enjoyed Cordelia being more of a layered character. It was sort of one of the first times that we sort of thought to ourselves, you know, she's not just a one-dimensional school bitch character. There's layers to everybody. It made her so much more of an interesting character and I really want more. Cordelia is one I'm watching. I'm watching her. So out of mind, out of sight, really interesting. I actually might put out of mind, out of sight in A tier because I really enjoyed myself with that one. It was a ride. And then we have Prophecy Girl, which I'm going to immediately put in the tier list. You're all not going to be shocked that I'm putting it in the S tier because I had such a good time with that episode. It was the best, it was fantastic. The whole show had built up so nicely to that 12th episode. 
the master's storyline, the anointed one storyline, Buffy's thoughts and feelings, Angel's connections to everything, the characters like Miss Calendar popping back in. It was just a really nice ending to the series. Prophecy Girl hyped me up so much. The scene where Buffy overhears that she's going to die and has a meltdown, rightly so, um, stupendous, quite possibly my favourite scene of the entire series. There was that moment where like the theme tune played when she was like, ready to like kill the master and it's just so good. The episode was near perfection, which is why it's in the S tier. I really enjoyed the whole season, honestly. Like I said, not a bad episode. Didn't hate any of them. Very much looking forward to what's still to come. Leave your opinions on your Buffy episodes or even rank them 1 to 12, 1 being the best, 12 being your least favourite, in the comment section below, because I love looking at other people's opinions on things. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next week for season 2, episode 1. Bye!